People of YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron, a software startup CEO who's currently in the throes of a solar roof installation. Tesla has estimated three to four weeks to completely install the solar roof. I'm having installed a 40 kilowatt, six power wall solar roof. We are actually two to three weeks into the installation because the first 10 days or so was tear off of my old roof. And today I wanted to show you what it's like to be in the middle of a solar roof installation. The footage I'm about to show you is days three through nine of roof install. I also have in my possession one of the new 72 watt solar tiles. If you'd like me to do a video on this tile, please leave a comment. I'm also not paid by Tesla, nor am I paid by YouTube. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and like the video. So let's go and see what the past six days has been like. And when I get back, I've got a little advice from what I've learned so far in the process. I have to say, the solar roof looks way better than I imagined. One thing I learned though is that you should act as the GC of your project. If the Tesla solar roof folks are doing things to your roof that you don't think look good, you need to say something immediately. I had this happen a couple times as part of the installation, and the Tesla folks were very accommodating and actually happy to try to fix the problem. So I would not leave them unattended for too long. Definitely don't go out on vacation before the solar roof gets installed. I would check on the roof one to two times a day just to make sure everything's going okay. But definitely do not sit out there all day long and get all up in their grill. The next step should be Powerwall installation. They don't like to install them at the beginning of the job, nor do they like to install them at the end of the job. From what the Tesla engineers have told me is they like to install it once there are a few panels. The Tesla electricians, who's a different group than the folks who are installing the roof, came by just a couple days ago, and we discussed Powerwall placement. And if you're unable to work well with your project advisor on the power wall placement, the Tesla electricians are much easier to deal with. Regardless of what the plan said, we walked through the house, talked about best placement of the power walls, and decided where they should go. So the key takeaway is that the roofers and the electricians from Tesla, once they're on site, are a lot more flexible to deal with than the project advisors. And I'll make sure to keep you folks updated. Toodles. 